Hello YouTubers, I want to do a quick video of this Gorilla garden cart. This is the middle cart that holds about 1,200 pounds. I purchased this one from Home Depot. They're about $130. They're available through Lowe's, Northern Tool, and other companies. Uh, Tricam seems to make this cart under different names too, so you may find it at other big box stores. Features of this cart include a plastic bin, pneumatic wheels, metal framework for the structure, and of course it has a latching mechanism here where you can dump the cart. It's nice how the wheels squat forward when the cart is dumped. This helps lower the cart to the ground so that the lip actually touches when it's dumping. This cart's pretty well reviewed on the internet but there are some issues with it. A lot of people have claimed that the bearings in the wheels are of poor quality. There's another video that shows how the bearings failed after only a few uses. Uh, knowing this, I went ahead and replaced the bearings. I purchased a replacement set of bearings, new from Amazon for about $20, and they are a little higher quality than the bearings that come with the cart. On the left, you'll see the existing bearing on the Gorilla cart. It's an okay quality bearing, but really nothing special. A simple design, basic metal. It rotates, but it's not especially smooth. And you can tell there is a lot of play on the inner race compared to the outer race. This is the replacement bearing. I bought these from Amazon. They're about $20 for the set of eight. They're a little more precise. Clearly have better seals. And they are smoother. They have the flange. And they have a little bit of a bevel to help them seat into the wheels. Here's what I've done, it's tapped out the original bearing. I used a long screwdriver and just tapped around using a hammer. I was careful to not scratch the inside of the hub with the screwdriver. After three or four whacks, the original bearing just dropped out. And then to replace the bearings, I've tapped them in one side I would just use a um, set of blocks under the wheel to support it and then I would use a socket that was big enough to contact this outer race. This happens to be a 27 millimeter socket and that worked well to seat the bearings. There's a little bit of some grease on there too that I've applied just to help the bearings go in. Uh, these bearings are 5 8 inch internal diameter and 1 and 3 8 inch external diameter and they're about a half an inch thick. Here's one of the wheels with the bearings tapped out. You can see the hub there. If the bearing starts going in a little crooked just persevere and hit on the side that it seems to be high. It's kind of tough to hit this large socket directly in the middle so if you've got a high edge just hit it on that side and it will correct itself. The important thing is to stay on this outer race and not to be hammering on the inner race. If you hammer on the inner race you can damage your bearing. Putting the wheels on is easy enough. It's just a matter of setting the wheel on the axle. You put the stem for the pneumatic tire on the outside slide it on the axle, put the retaining washer on, and then slide the cotter pin through, and then bend the tabs of the cotter pin with some pliers, like so. Getting the first set of bolts wasn't that difficult. I used a half inch deep weld socket and a number three Phillips screwdriver. And that way I could reach around and tighten the fasteners it's important to not over torque this since it's just going into plastic. Got the dump mechanism axle bolts in 
the nuts on these are tightened really just so it's kind of flush with the shaft of the bolt. We don't want to make this too tight. This area needs to be able to operate for the dumping mechanism. The last piece to go on is the handle. And notice it has a bend in it. You can put this on two different ways. I put it on this way because with it bent this way, when you pull the steer wheels at a sharp angle, the handle will clear under the dump bin. Overall, the construction seems fairly good. Assembling the cart was quite easy. It just took a few uh, tools, nothing specialized, and I was able to complete the assembly in probably 30 to 60 minutes. So. And there we have it. Thank you for watching.